Hello, this message is for uh, President Trump. President Trump, my name is Ibrahim. I just want to contribute a little bit and see how I can help you against immigration. You know, so I want you to give me about two minutes of your time and listen to this small video that I'm about to put together so I can help you fight against mass immigration. We don't want to come over here. A lot of us don't want to come out here in America and resettle. We just want to come here on vacations and for sightseeing purposes. But listen to me for a little bit because I just want to tell you what we need to do to help, you know, stop this mass immigration from the African continent. I'm not speaking for everybody else in the world, but from Africa. I can tell you that for a fact, if you help us by holding the leaders accountable, for sure, 100% immigration, mass immigration would be a thing of the past. That's just my appeal to you. So listen to this message, President Trump. Thank you for taking the time. My message to President Trump is this. Um, I, I can guarantee you, you know, eight out of 10 Africans, because I'm gonna speak for Africans, uh, would rather stay in Africa than come overseas. You know, um, that is a fact. Like, um, you know, there's no place like home. And um, I mean, we have beautiful temperature, beautiful weather out there, you know, it's tropical. It's, uh, you know, it's just family oriented. You know, everybody, you know, you know your neighbors, you know, uh, people live together amicably. It is so easy, you know. Unfortunately, the problem is uh, because of, uh, you know, corruption, depravity. You know, 80% of the people in Africa live in poverty and it's only 20% that are, you know, a little bit better off. And in that 20%, they're still struggling, but maybe just merely 5% are really enjoying the wealth of the continent of Africa. So, President Trump, I'm going to take Sierra Leone, for example. Um, you see, our brothers, recently you heard about this, the, the, the slave trade back, you know, around in Libya, you know, um, where uh, African migrants, not only Sierra Leoneans, but a lot of Sierra Leoneans lost their lives, you know, just uh, seeking opportunity, you know, to uh, run away from the corruption, the level of depravity in our own country, Sierra Leone, for example. All these people wanted was to have a better opportunity, better have a better future for themselves, not only for themselves, but for their kids, you know, to make a better living for them. You know, when you look at, you know, uh, some of the highest unemployment in the world, it's in Africa. You take Sierra Leone, for example, the, the, the country is about 65% of the population, or 75% of the population is young people. 65% of those young people are unemployed. So tell me, there's no hope. You wake up in the morning, you don't have nowhere to go. All you're thinking about, you know, is where can I go and make a living for myself? Where can I go and better my, myself? Where can I go and create an opportunity for my family? You know, that is why we have an immigration problem, President Trump. So if you want to help us stop immigration, President Trump, you know, is to intervene into the African continent a little bit. Let America help. You know, America shouldn't be the police of the whole world, but there's a point in life where, you know, if you're the adult, you know, it's best for you to take that role of the adult. Because I know when America speaks, a lot of these leaders listen. Take a country like Cameroon right now, President Trump. Cameroon is divided into two. But a little part of it is the Anglophone, English-speaking part of Cameroon. And you have the French-speaking part of Cameroon. Currently, the president of Cameroon has been in power for over 50 years, President Trump. <laughs> is 50 years now what they're doing as i'm speaking to you today this is much this is uh, july of 2018 as i'm speaking to you right now there's a mass genocide going by orchestrated by the president of cameroon to kill the anglophone the english speak, speaking part of cameroon just because these people want independence from the french speaking part of cameroon they are murdering people are being murdered moms and their daughters and their sons their kids the babies they're murdering them so tell me president trump this is where america comes in you know i know we have the, the, the we're looking at iran and you know uh, you know all these other big countries but if you want to stop immigration stop this mass immigration of africans and african youth young men and young women that are vibrant, they have what it takes for them to be able to lead a better life in their own countries. They don't want to leave their countries. That is the plea I'm making to you. Help Africa and you will see. Hold these leaders accountable. Take a country like Equatorial Guinea with all the oil. The people are living in deprivation. The president has been there for over 40 years in power. His son is one of the richest men in America here. 
He has mansions. He even bought Michael Jackson's gloves. Can you tell me? These are the things, President Trump. If you want to stop immigration, I'm just making a plea. I'm just another American citizen. I'm just telling you that our black brothers, I'm from Sierra Leone. They don't want to leave their country. They want to be able to make a life for themselves in the country. So to help us, if you want to help us, you want to help and stop this mass immigration, American people, if you're listening to this, listen well. What you need to do is help the continent of Africa. I don't know about any other place. I know about Africa. We have so many resources. We have so much wealth in our continent. We have so much wealth in Sierra Leone, for example, where I'm from. Gold, diamond, bauxite, rutile, all kinds of mineral resources. Name it, titanium, we have it all. Uranium, we have it all. It's a blessed land. Our young people should not be suffering. Should not try to travel and drown in boats, try to come overseas. President Trump, if you want to help stop immigration, help Africans and help the African people, you will see there'll be a drastic, drastic cut in the amount of people trying to come over here and resettle. We just want to come here on vacations, come here as, a, as tourists, just to come and see, sightseeing, because we don't like nothing. We should have everything we need. So this is just my small plea to you, President Trump. If you want to help migration, help Africa by intervening into some of these corrupt countries, like I've named a few. Thank you, Ibrahim.